This is marathon goddess Julie Weiss on the run. Take a look at her there in that picture. This weekend she will run the LA Marathon, her 116th. And Julie just hit another milestone, raising $1 million for cancer research. Ju Julie joining us now live in studio to talk about this. Congratulations. Thank you. What is it like to run 100? You've done 115. So how has it been to run 115 marathons? Uh, you know, I find a lot of joy in marathon running. I'm not going to lie, it can get exhausting, but I'm doing it for a greater purpose. Uh, sadly, I lost my father to pancreatic cancer just 35 days after Aww. he was diagnosed. So I wanted to do something big to raise funds and awareness for pancreatic cancer research. So now I'm running for the Hirschberg Foundation for Pancreatic Cancer Research. One year I did 52 marathons in a year to raise a million dollars. Was that one a week? Yeah. Oh my goodness. And now we're here 10 years later, never give up. We've got the final pledge to raise that million dollars, and um, but we're not done yet. Amazing. You said your dad was your biggest fan. Yes. So this is something that's really special to you. Oh, I know. He he really was my biggest fan. He was always there when I was running. He was. He didn't care what time I ran. He was just so so proud of me. And when he passed away, I wanted to do something to not only honor him but honor others that are affected by this disease. So I continued running. And when my father passed, the survival rate was only five percent. And now it's twelve. And now it's twelve. So, so there's it's, been some good strides, but we've got a long way to go. That's right. So we are making progress. Never give up. No matter how long it takes, we keep going. And if you want to learn more about the statistics, you could go to pancreatic.org and read all about the statistics there. But um, we're getting there, but we're just going to keep going. I love your energy. <laughs> I can't believe you have this much energy uh, with all the running that you've done over time. Uh, tell me about the foundation itself. Well, they are the Hirschberg Foundation for Pancreatic Cancer Research is an official charity of the Los Angeles Marathon presented by ASICS and they will be at the Purple People Party at mile <laughs> 22 if you want to come out and join there and volunteer and cheer us on. I but love that. They've got a lab at UCLA but they do seed grants all over the world and they are on the front lines of pancreatic cancer and never taking a day off. That's what some people don't realize is that when uh, you don't have to run the marathon right you can go to the various stop points and it's so fun not only you cheering but I, it, it doesn't it motivate you as a runner to see people at these various oh, mile absolutely points? it gives you so much energy for all, all of you spectators please I invite you to come out and cheer for us because it gives us energy to keep going especially at mile 22 but any mile I mean it's just we, we love it so come out and cheer us on I we appreciate all the love and uh, yeah go check out mile 22 because there's a lot of purple going on over there too. <laughs> <Love that. laughs> yeah. You told me that you're a grandmother. Yes. You have two grandkids. Yes. They love to run. They do and they're faster than me. <laughs> <laughs> well figure that they're four and seven did yeah, you say? They yeah adorable. they've got plenty of energy. Yes, yes they do and they keep me um, on my toes. <laughs> <laughs> well that's how do you stay motivated as someone who is busy you are mom, your grandma, you, you run all of these marathons, you're raising all this money, you've got great tinsel in your hair, <laughs> you. sparkly and happy. I mean, how do you stay motivated to continue doing well, this? Well, thank you for asking that. It's it's really because of the people that I'm running for. Every race that I run, I dedicate it to someone. So when I'm out there and I'm struggling, I think about them and they give me energy. And I think about my dad or I think about Lupe. I think about all of the people um, that I've met along this journey and they give me energy and I'm doing it for them. So it's something that's so much bigger than yourself. So if you ever thought about running for a charity, uh, it really does give you some energy that you didn't even know you had. So it's a wonderful feeling and it just brings you so much joy. And that's what it's about. It is. And really. it's never too late to start. Just put one foot in front of the other. I was just looking up that quote by C.S. Lewis. It's never too late to set a new goal or dream a new dream. You're never too old, never too young. Just go for it and never give up. Oh my goodness. I love this. I love the motivation for this Monday. Thank you so much for being oh, here, thank Julie. You Good so luck much for with having everything. Us. Thank you. Thank yes, you. Check out pancreatic.org for more information or to make a donation. We need the funds for research. <laughs> well, you're you're you. plugging away. We have more information too on Julie and her story on our website as well. All you have to do is kcalnews.com. Click Scene on TV.